All right, we feel good. Um, obviously, uh, when you win your first round in three games in a sweep, you have a little bit of time uh, to heal up some bumps and some bruises and refocus, and I think we've utilized our time wisely. Um, we've recharged physically, we've recharged mentally, uh, been able to shift gears and focus on a new opponent while maintaining um, really what we have to do and worry about our own team, and um, we're just ready to play hockey at this point. Yeah, the um, you, get, you guys were saying you guys about a week and a half off to recover, um, and this next team is not like a, a, a bottom seed. This is the number two team. You guys, are number one team. This is gonna be a tough matchup. How are you guys feeling going into it? Yeah, no, we feel good. Um, we're, we're a confident group, and um, you know, so are they. Um, that's probably why we're the top two teams. But uh, we had eight days between games. I think they'll have six, so um, we're really in the same position. So right now, it's about. Um, who can get to their identity quicker? Um, whenever there's a little bit of a layoff, um, there's a little rust, and you gotta um, be smart. Um, you gotta remove it quickly, um, and you gotta get in gear. So whoever team can get to their identity quicker um, is probably gonna get out of the gates um, correctly. So it's a big focus for us. Um, we want to start on time and it's on the road. Despite being the higher seed, you have to play the first two in their building. So um, for us, game one's important. In some situations, you have a quick turnaround, right? And obviously, it's not the case uh, with a long layoff. Does that give you more flexibility and creativity to simulate some of the things you might expect from them when you go up there? Yeah, you, you have to adjust on the fly. And whether it's a quick turnaround or a longer turnaround, um, you know, mentally, I've been gearing up uh, with the staff all year for preparation. And um, in this situation, um, you know, we planned our, our approach accordingly and we were able to space things out correctly. We were able to space out some of the uh, work to rest ratio and, um, you know, the, the preparations in place. So, um, you know, it is an advantage to, to have a little time and now we have to use it wisely and uh, make sure we're ready to go. Some of the matchups against uh, Milwaukee, you guys matched up well against them in the regular season, a lot of close games. Um, do you plan on kind of experimenting a little bit with, with what worked and what you've seen recently from some of their tape when it comes to your preparations? Well, hey, uh, we have an identity. We understand their identity. Um, you know, we have to be on point in terms of some of the matchups, um, some of the things they want to do. But at the end of the day, a lot of it's about us. Um, we've talked heavily about our play without the puck, our tracking, our forechecking. Um, you know, the way we defend physically. And I think, you know, ultimately that's who we are, regardless of opponent. Um, you now you sprinkle in some tendencies, you sprinkle in um, some things that their personnel like to do on a special teams, for example. Um, you know, that's the kind of stuff you have to gear up and be ready for uh, when you switch opponents. But um, we've gone over that. Um, at this point now, it's more refreshers than anything. Um, and then you're ready for the final exam. Starting the two on the road, um, you know, you've, you've played in that building. That team hasn't had quite the success on their home ice as you guys have here in Cedar Park, but you've also played really well on the road this year. How much confidence does the team have going into to that building and, and playing the way you guys can? Yeah, well, we're, we're confident, um, you know, regardless of home or away. And I think, um, like I said, it's about getting to your identity fast. Um, and I think when you go into an opponent's building, especially in playoffs, you have to expect a hostile environment. You have to expect, um, you know, some momentum swings, some energy. And I think... Um, staying present and uh, really controlling those momentum moments uh, are going to be critical. Uh, I was just reading here that you get, the Texas Stars became the first AHL team to advance to the divisional finals uh, with a three-game series sweep. Um, going into this divisional that strong, how, what do you guys want to do to keep that momentum going? Well, you know what? It was the play without our puck we talked about. Um, we made mistakes, um, but we made up for them quickly. Um, with our layers of support, um, avoiding compounding or complicating issues. And um, like I said, we did a real nice job without the puck. Um, when we had the puck, we were pretty clean for the most part. And when you make mistakes, you move on um, and stay neutral and get ready for the next play. And um, it's going to be no different. Um, the further you go, expectations get heightened, pressure gets heightened, and that's part of it. And that's um, really what you enjoy this time of year. It's what the fans enjoy, um, to be quite frank. So for us, um, you know, let's get back to neutral. Let's get back to, to refocusing here for the first game, um, first shift, and then from there we'll uh, keep going. Uh, <clears throat> you're saying you guys make mistakes, and but you guys overcame them. So it seems like adversity is a, a familiar territory. Um, so anytime the guests in the net game one going on, if any adversity is going on, um, are there anything that you guys do to overcome those? Yeah, well, we've been working through that all year. Um, and that's the, the best part about 72 game regular season. Uh, you run into a lot of different obstacles, um, situations, scenarios, home and away. Um, and we address them. We don't hide from them. Um, we work through them in practice. We work through them in video. And we've been doing that all season long. So um, when it came to playoffs, it was another day. It was another moment. And um, the pressure is elevated. Those moments are heightened. And 
um, really the team that can stay level-headed and work through them as a group are usually the team that comes through them. And um, we did that, and we're going to need to do it again.